Difference between exploratory, descriptive, and causal research. Definition. Exploratory research is defined as the initial research conducted to explore, clarify, and define the nature of a problem. While descriptive research describes the characteristics of a population or phenomenon, causal research is conducted to identify cause and effect relationship. Research approach. One of the key differences between these three designs is their research approach. Exploratory research is highly unstructured and provides a lot of flexibility as it is generally the first step in any research process and is therefore in the early stages of decision making. Whereas descriptive research is conducted after explorative research and its research design has more structure than the exploratory design but less structure than the causal design. Causal research has a highly structured and rigid research design and is generally conducted in the later stages of decision making. Research statement In both exploratory and descriptive research, the key research statement is the research question itself. However, in causal research, the key research statement is generally the research hypothesis. Research problem Exploratory research and descriptive research don't answer a research problem and are instead used to gain a deeper understanding of the problem itself. Causal research is used to identify the cause and effect relationship between variables and provides conclusive results that can answer the research problem. An exploratory research approach entails the use of expert surveys, pilot surveys, secondary data, qualitative analysis, and qualitative research. On the other hand, a descriptive research approach uses information from quantitative analysis, panels, observations, and other data. Causal research design strictly uses experiments and tests like correlations, regressions, t-tests, and ANOVA. Example of an exploratory research design Let's assume a researcher wants to study the effects of social media on a teenager's attention span. Before going forward with the investigation itself, the researcher may choose to conduct surveys or interviews using open-ended questions. The responses will be collected from the target audience which in this case comprises those who fall between the ages of 13 to 19. The data collected will provide the researcher with meaningful insights that will help them frame a more specific and realistic research question that can be investigated effectively. Example of a descriptive research design Let's take an example of a shoe company that is trying to conduct market research to understand the shoe purchasing trends in the city of Toronto. Before delving into the investigation itself, they may want to first conduct descriptive research to understand which variables and statistics are relevant to their company and therefore which variables and statistics need to be investigated. The descriptive research conducted will provide the company with a deeper understanding of the research topic before the investigation can be commenced. Example of a causal research design A researcher is trying to study the effect of alcohol consumption on health. They select a sample group consisting of people who consume different amount of alcohol and then also observe different metrics that are indicators of health. This is an example of a causal research design as the researcher is investigating the cause and effect relationship between alcohol consumption and a person's health. 